Pakistan's parliament is taking up the issue of strained ties with the U.S. A committee presented recommendations to lawmakers on Tuesday, including calling for an end to U.S. drone attacks on Pakistan's soil and a formal apology for a NATO strike along the Pakistan-Afghan border last year, which killed 24 Pakistani soldiers. Another issue on the table is the reopening of NATO supply routes into Afghanistan, which were closed by the government after the deadly strike in November 2011. In January, President Barack Obama signed into law a defense spending bill that authorizes more than $1 billion in military aid to Pakistan, though it suspends some 60 percent of those funds pending a review. For more, we're joined by Omar Farouk. He's a freelance journalist based in New York. Welcome to FSRN. Hi, good to be here. This week, Pakistan's parliament commission called for an end to the U.S. drone program. In the country, the program has been criticized for widespread civilian casualties and a lack of transparency for years. The U.S. did not acknowledge the program, and it reveals very few details of of who is killed when there is a strike or the details of it. Now, there has already been protests in Pakistan and opposition to the program in the past. How is this call different from others in the past? Right. Actually, this isn't even the first time Parliament has taken up the issue Um, In 2008, there were several unanimous resolutions passed by the Senate, as well as the lower House of Parliament, um, calling for an end to drone strikes, an end to any sort of cross-border U.S. or uh, ISAF or or NATO operations in Pakistan. There were were more similar resolutions after the raid killing Osama bin Laden last year uh, in May, Um, also unanimous sort of resolutions from Parliament um, asking for an immediate end to drone strikes. Um, so this, this isn't the first time the parliament has taken up the issue. Um, as far as on the street, um, there are regular protests against these issues uh, after drone strikes. You know, you'll see sometimes thousands of people from the areas where these strikes happen going out and blocking roads. Um, so this is it's like a regular thing on the ground in Pakistan with parliamentary, uh, the current parliamentary commission, that, which has given the current recommendations, um, it's just the latest manifestation of that. So since this is the latest uh, um, manifestation of that, as you say, and uh, lawmakers have taken this up in the past, does this current uh, form of it, uh, does it have real teeth to it as a formal resolution, or, or do you see it more as a political move? It, it, it may be a political move because there's elections coming up next year. Um, but in either case, it, uh, you know, so a lot of these demands have widespread support from, from all, all, par, uh, all parties um, in the landscape. Um, what makes this maybe a little bit different is that there was uh, months and months of long uh, investigations, committee investigations involving, you know, top-level army leaders and generals and intelligence agencies. And what's happened over the years is that different segments of the leadership, whether the prime minister, the president, or General uh, Pervez Musharraf, who, who ruled until a few years ago, uh, have made um, verbal agreements with the United States for drone strikes, for on-the-ground operations, for foreign uh, security contractors to be stationed in Pakistan. And those verbal agreements at different times uh, have bubbled up through the media, but they haven't always been confronted uh, in, in a legal sense in the courts or, or in other places. And we should also mention that even as lawmakers are debating this measure to end drone strikes or call for an end to drone strikes in Pakistan, the drone strikes are ongoing. The U.S. did suspend them momentarily after the deadly NATO strike in November, but they have since resumed and they are ongoing at this point. Yeah, they have. They resumed them uh, earlier this year. Um, There's been several last week there. Last week and the week before, there's there's been several, um, even some that have reportedly killed civilians. Not that I usually agree with labeling anyone a civilian or a militant in such a uh, closed operation anyway. But, um, yeah, the 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 strikes are ongoing. Another aspect of the commission is that it calls for a formal apology from the U.S. for the deadly NATO strike in November 2011. Uh, after that, uh, Pakistan did shut down the supply routes going into Afghanistan. What is the significance of including this? The November strike is important, but it's actually not also the first time that's happened. There's been maybe a dozen or so cases 
of NATO ISAF uh, forces coming over the border. The November raid was particularly uh, particularly made people in Pakistan angry just because it was so brazen. Uh, since the Osama bin Laden raid, there's been at least six instances, including this uh, November raid, six instances where American um, and ISAF forces have crossed over the Pakistani border and it has resulted in deaths of Pakistani soldiers or border policemen. So there are these recommendations on the table. Uh, lawmakers in Pakistan appear to be considering them. We spoke to one senator from Islamabad yesterday who who said that she expected that uh, it would come back into parliament uh, early next week for con- more consideration. What are the chances that this will be passed in its current form? How could it change? And what's next in this process? Well, the, thing, the interesting thing about this current form is that it's not actually as strongly anti-ISAF uh, or anti-US as a lot of political parties in Pakistan would like it to be. I think in the end it will definitely be passed, if not with stronger wording than it has now. The question is whether it will actually have any impact on the ground, because we've seen this before and we haven't had any impact on the ground. Omar Farouk is an independent journalist based in New York. He joined us to discuss the recommendations being considered in Pakistan's parliament this week and going into the next. Thank you for joining us. No problem. Thanks so much.